Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juliana and today I want to talk about everything to do with acrylic nails. And I know when I say acrylic nails, there's a little bit of a taboo. People are going to be like, oh, why not talk about gel nails? Gel nails are better for you, etc. I will get into that whole debate, conversation, all of that at some point in this video. But I have a lot of information for you guys, so let's just get right into it. So I started getting nails, I'm gonna say probably four or more years ago. I've been getting nails for a very long time. Actually, now that I think about it, I think it's been like exactly five years right now since I started getting nails. And at first I got nails to stop biting my nails. I had such a bad nail biting issue. Seriously, it was an addiction. I could not be stopped. It could still creep back anytime. I have had like small relapses in biting my nails since then. But the biggest thing I can credit to me stopping biting my nails is getting acrylic nails put on because you obviously can't bite your nails that way. And then you just kind of break the habit the longer you have them on. Something I consider a major skill of mine is that I've never had a bad set of nails. I've had nails I look back on and I'm like, oh, I don't like that style anymore. But whatever nails I left the salon with were exactly what I walked in asking for so anytime my nails look bad that was on me not on my nail tech because I've always gotten what I wanted there was actually one time the very first time I ever got coffin nails and I went in and I was like I want coffin and I want them pretty long I'm pretty sure I showed them a picture but I had relatively short nails on and the girl tried to change my like really short square nails into coffin and I ended up with what was really closer to a stiletto but super, super, super short and it was so ugly. And I actually got them to take them off and restart because you have to advocate for yourself in a nail salon. Now that being said, I love my nail tech now. I've had the same guy actually probably for the full five years I'm getting my nails done. And I've only ever gone to someone else like two or three times and never been as happy as I am at that salon. So. Let's kind of get into more of the advice portion of this. This is more tailored for people who don't get their nails done on a regular basis. If you're super, super content with how your nails are, I don't think you're gonna get a lot new out of this video. My biggest advice when getting your nails done is to go in knowing what you want. And the best way to know what you want is just to have knowledge around the terminology used with nails. So know the difference between gel and acrylic and know the difference between different nail shapes and know the difference between getting gel polish on top of your acrylic or getting shellac polish on top of your acrylic and know the difference between tips and not getting tips and building. There's so much to know about and I don't want to be the one to explain that because I'm not someone who has done years of training in nails. I have a lot of knowledge around different, different terminology, but I don't have this training. So there's definitely videos on YouTube to check out if you want that. But what I will really, really suggest that you look into is nail shapes. I'm gonna put a screen up right now that shows you different nail shapes. It's gonna have stiletto, it's gonna have square, it's gonna have oval, it's gonna have squabble, it's gonna have coffin, it's gonna have skinny coffin. You have to look at this and decide what nail shape you want, which nail shape suits you, because even if you like a nail shape, it's not necessarily going to look good on you. So you have to look at that and determine what you want, and that has to be the very first thing. And I'm the kind of girl who scrolls through Pinterest for so long looking at different trends to figure out what I want my nails to be like. I'll put some up here that I've done recently that I've really liked. I'm sure I already showed you guys a picture of the start of the video, just showing you what I am more into. What I like might not be what you like, but what I like, I know I like. So like I'm very, very, it's very odd for me to differ from what I like. I've been getting skinny and coffin nails for years now, only with one almond set I did over the summer and that was purely just to try out a trend. So my very first advice is to figure out what shape you want, what color you want, and how exactly you can say it in the salon. And my second piece of advice is to have an exact picture of what you want to get done. So if you want a, a burgundy set of skinny coffin nails with a silver accent nail, Go in with a picture you've already found of that. Trust me, someone's done it before. So find a picture of it, bring it in, show it to them, say, can you do something like this? Explain it to your nail tech, make sure they understand what you're saying you want, and then let it get started. Now, once they're actually in with the process of doing your nails, you need to be on the lookout. Don't be texting, don't be zoned out, don't be watching the news on the TV they have in there. Be watching them do your nails. Be making sure that they're doing what you like because if you let them know as soon as they put that polish on that it's the wrong color, like you have, they've got the very first coat on your thumbnail on and you're like, oh wait, that's the wrong color. They're just gonna rub that nail polish off and restart. It's not a big deal. But if you wait till they have three coats of gel polish on all 10 of your nails, it is going to be an ordeal to take that all off and restart. That is so annoying to them. So you need to be watching. You need to be in the moment. You need to know what's happening. Another thing to keep in mind is price. And I hear so many stories of people having strange pricing issues at nail salons. And I definitely have had this come up too because there are a lot of prices that get tacked on. Now, first of all, 
and this kind of comes back to the gel versus acrylic conversation is that acrylic nails generally cost less than gel nails so if you go into a salon and you say that you want fake nails they're probably going to try to give you gel nails off the bat so that they can charge you more I know I want acrylic nails, so when I go into my salon, I say I want acrylic nails. Those are the lesser priced option. Now the issue is sometimes you're gonna get acrylic nails and still get charged for gel nails, which is where having your own knowledge, having your own base information is really important. The other things that cost more are obviously if they're doing a design, if they're doing an accent nail, if you're getting your nails like really long. There are definitely some sets I've had where they've told me at the salon like it's gonna be an extra five bucks because your nails are a lot longer than usual. And you just have to anticipate those charges but also ask when they're starting, how much is this gonna cost? That is the best way to avoid any kind of miscommunication or fight later on in your transaction is from the very start asking how much exactly is this gonna cost? And they say $70 and you say, oh, okay, great, that's what I have with me. Cause that way they're not gonna try to tack on this $25 service or this extra $5 accent cause they know you only have $70. On the pricing topic, my Full set, and a full set means when you get your first coat on, which has the tips and the fill, that usually costs me $55, and all my additional fills are $45, and that's Canadian dollars, and that's before any kind of design. So that's no accent nails, that's not extra long, that's no beads or anything else you can get put onto them. I feel like I'm a little bit all over the place, but I'm also giving you guys a lot of important information, so bear in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is the kind of salon you're going to. So the place I go to is extremely casual. It's extremely in, get your nails done, and get out. It's not a spa. You're not going in to get a hand massage. You're not going in to get pampered. I'm not going in there looking for relaxation. I'm looking to go in there to get a bomb set of nails put on. I think an issue that comes up, and a way a lot of salon gets a bad rep, is by not being a spa. Don't expect people who do your nails to be a spa. I blame this on spas in general because a lot of these spas that have massages and facials and other treatments like that, they tack on like random manicures they can do for you. And those people I never find are particularly good at their jobs. It's people who specialize in doing nails who are really good at doing nails. But it's those spas that give people the idea that that's what going to get a manicure is going to be like. And there are places like that. There are places that are good like that. But that's not what I expect to get my nice $50, $55 set of nails put on. Another thing to consider is care once you have the nails put on. Back when I was a swimming instructor, my nails only lasted maybe two weeks tops. Now that I'm not, although they do grow out and they don't look as good, I can get four, five weeks without needing to get a fill. I mean, I don't love how they look when they're grown out. I do prefer to get a fill more often, but if life is really hectic, I don't need one. They're not gonna break off. In fact, I just had five back-to-back -back sets and they stayed on. Like, it was hard to get that last set off. I only took it off because as you guys know from watching my Christmas video, I'm going to be asking for my own set to start doing kind of a hybrid gel tip nail situation for Christmas and I wanted to have a few months for my fingernails to kind of recover from having so many sets on them. But anyway, those nails were not coming off without a lot. Now, talking about taking your nails off, I do not recommend going back to your nail salon to get your nails taken off. You're gonna hear over and over again, it's really damaging to your nails to take off your nails yourself. And I honestly think that's a conspiracy created by salons so that you'll go back there and pay for your manicure removal or better yet, be convinced to just get another fill. Personally, how I take off my nails is I wait till they're getting a little bit loose because that is evidence to me that they're ready to come off. And then if they're still pretty tight, I soak them in acetone, wrap them up, wait for it to start to dissolve, they're literally just gonna peel off, no big deal at all. Once they're super loose, like we're at that point where I think they could break off, I actually take a shower and when I'm in the shower, I just start rubbing around the edges of the nails and they will just pop off. This is not a bad quality manicure. This is just a realistic at home way of taking off your nails. There's also the whole level of hygiene in salons. It's something I'm gonna talk on a whole lot because I'm just honestly not that knowledgeable on it, but I always do see comments like that on YouTube videos when I'm looking at things about nails. People always say to be really careful to make sure that they're using new equipment on you, they're using new buffers on you, um, they're washing their hands. All that is super important. I just don't have enough information to tell you guys and I don't want to give you anything that isn't correct on that. So definitely do your own research on what hygiene and cleanliness should look like in the salon you're going to. So I'll be able to talk about how your nails are going to look when you get gel or acrylic nails taken off. And I honestly don't think it's that big of a deal to me, but that's because I don't have super healthy nails in general. As I said, I bit my nails for a really long time, like 15 years, and that is so, so bad for your nails. So I don't have super, super good nail health to begin with, which is why I feel so comfortable getting acrylic and gel nails put on back to back to back to back and not really stressing about what it's doing to my nail beds. 
But if you're someone who has really, really healthy, really sturdy nails to begin with, you're going to notice a big difference when you get your nails off. They're gonna be a little bit more brittle. They're going to break. They might be short now. They're gonna have inconsistencies um, on the nail itself, like areas where you've lost a little bit of nail so it's thinner or areas where you've like had a build up because the other areas seem thin so that part seems thick and you're gonna have a line of where the gel or acrylic ended i wish i didn't have polish on my fingers right now so i could show you what it looks like but it's just kind of like a crescent line that is where the nail ended and you're just gonna have that until the nail grows out which isn't gonna be super long i actually think i have nails that grow like annoyingly fast but for some people it's kind of you know something worth pointing out your nails aren't going to look amazing i always throw on a coat of paint the second i take my nails off just because they they aren't super cute and i like to try to fix up that situation i kind of hope in the future i can make videos at some point about my new process of doing my nails i have ordered well i haven't ordered actually i have asked for christmas to get some things to start doing my own nails i love going to get my nails done and having it all just done for me but i'd also love to do it myself and have a little bit more freedom in design and approach and colors so i think i'm gonna start trying to do it myself and hopefully in videos in the future i can show you guys how that's going i'll be honest with you guys though like if i'm not good at it i'm just gonna tell you that it's not worth wasting your time trying on your own but i have high hopes i have a friend from my work she's also trying to learn how to do her own nails and all we talk about these days is her trying me trying how it's gonna be so i'll definitely keep you guys updated on that if you have any questions at all about getting your nails done i feel like i do have a wealth of experience and knowledge on this like five years worth. So drop any questions you have down below. While you're down there, you might as well suggest other video ideas to me because I love making videos, but I am having so much trouble thinking of things to make for you guys. So definitely let me know what you'd like to see. Don't forget to like this video. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. I am so appreciative of every single person who subscribes to my channel. We are over 1700 subscribers now, which is insane. I never expected this, honestly. So if you're not subscribed yet, it would mean so much if you could now. You guys have a fantastic week and I'll see you soon. Thank you.